There are some very troubling possible futures for our society. Climate change will displace millions of people and will hit peak oil in 2015. Thereafter, the price of oil will skyrocket. So we'll see supply decrease and we'll see prices of basic foods and every basic commodity spiral upwards. Our current world population is just under 7 billion, and that figure will double approximately every 35 years. So take a look at where you live. Try to imagine double the amount of people, twice the demand for resources, double the amount of pollution. Massive changes are coming whether we like it or not. I'm not a politician. I'm not looking for your vote, so I can give it to you straight. This system cannot continue. So who will make the decisions about who gets food to eat or who goes hungry or who gets water to drink and who goes without? Because the idea of allowing mindless corporations or wealthy elites to make decisions about population control is terrifying. The great heroes of our times, people like Gandhi and Martin Luther King, incredible though they were, could not create change on their own. Only the will of the people can do that. And together, we can accomplish anything. Interestingly, the way to win back democracy, end the wars, and save our environment has just one cure. And it's simple. We live in a capitalist system. Everything we do is based on the exchange of money. The media and the advertising men have turned us into obedient little consumers trying to buy ourselves to happiness in a throwaway society. This creates such a demand on our resources that our corporations invade other countries to get more, causing untold war and conflict. Then using the wealth and power that we give them, corporations undermine democracy and justice. However, the unlikely and ironic outcome of consumerism is that it makes you, the consumer, all powerful. The way we use money has more influence in our society than anything else. And the way we choose to spend our money can change everything. No company will continue a practice or a product that you, the consumer, will not buy. It's vitally important that you understand this because this gives you ultimate power to change the world you live in. Companies are extremely sensitive about you buying their products because if you don't buy their stuff, they go out of business. That's not something any company is willing to consider. And by choosing to spend your money wisely, you can promote those companies that do business in a socially responsible way. Without saying a word, you will have sent a clear message that they simply cannot ignore. It will be heard, heeded and acted upon, guaranteed. This is real power. For example, if a company pollutes the environment or uses bad business practices, if you don't buy their stuff, they will change. If you don't want food with chemicals or GMOs in it, then don't buy it. Basic foods and cleaning products make up 70% of our weekly purchases. This drives the agriculture and chemical industries that have a massive effect on our environment. If we can start making the right choices about these simple everyday purchases, we can save our environment. We got into the habit of buying junk fast foods that have no actual food in them. We buy gallons of poisonous household cleaners when one degradable soft soap will do. We are poisoning our homes and wasting our hard-earned money for no good reason. Why? Because the advertising industry tells us to. They just want you to buy stuff. The car is the single biggest drain on the Earth's resources. Just about every mineral, every chemical and every metal known to man goes into the manufacture of our cars. The gasoline engine is inefficient and poisons our environment. The car, as it is today, cannot be sustained. It is up to us to drive the demand for clean, efficient vehicles. Do not underestimate the power of that dollar bill in your pocket. The way you spend that dollar 
already affects economies and lives around the world. Spent wisely, it can fix every problem known to man. The minute we start taking responsibility and spending our money wisely, every politician, every corporation and leader around the world is going to know that we have woken up. And that is the most important point in this film. All of the abuse in our system happens because we just roll over and take it. But when we get involved and start making the right decisions, everything changes. Our consumer choices are the easiest way for us to get involved in a very meaningful and powerful way. But the issue is our involvement. You and I taking responsibility. You and I demanding the truth, learning the facts, and making our decisions accordingly. There are serious decisions to be made about the future of our society. Because there are so many of us, and population levels are rising all the time, we have to drastically reduce our demand for every consumer product. Breaking the habits of a lifetime won't be easy. Retooling industry and maintaining balance in our markets and economies is a massive undertaking. But we can address all of these questions. You have the power to deny profits to offending corporations and support those who maintain good practices. You can express the concerns you hold dear and herald a new beginning at every level of our society. This is the 21st century. If we use our resources wisely, there is no reason why anyone shouldn't have what they need. There's no reason whatsoever why people are still starving to death on our planet. And the common man or woman, whether they are Israeli or Palestinian, Protestant or Catholic or Iraqi or American, the common man just wants to live in peace and justice in a clean environment. When we look around the world and we see that that is not the case, we know that the will of the majority is not being listened to. That's the first sign that our system is broken. Government won't make these changes for us. Yet again, it is down to the common man. Please don't just watch this movie and turn away. We can fix this system. Go to the website, take that first step towards an incredible future for all of us. Thank you for watching.